Hi there, welcome to this video. If you are sitting maths A level this year and you sat the Edexcel Pure Paper 2, which was on Tuesday the 13th of June, we're going to have an analysis of what was on the paper, give my take of the paper, give some thoughts about what other people have thought of the paper, and then look at what you should be focusing on for next week, because well done, you have done two thirds of your maths A level, just the applied paper left to go. So we're going to have a look at some topics that you should be focusing on to get ready for the applied paper which is next Tuesday, the 20th of June. So how did paper two go? I have it here in front of me, 15 questions in total, and the exam board have definitely moved away from having those questions with higher mark allocation. They've done what they said they were gonna do. There was plenty in there that was fairly familiar to start with, with low mark allocation. It wasn't up till uh, question 11 that you got a longer question where the question actually took up the whole page. Uh, so shorter questions, accessible parts, and if you had got yourself into a nice rhythm into the zone by the time you hit those harder questions at the end I'm sure you you've done well so 57 marks up to including question 10 plenty there for you to to get a good mark and be well on your way to scoring a high mark the harder questions did come up the end and we expected that because there weren't some of the harder topics that are towards the end of the course they weren't on paper one so here are a list of topics as you worked your way through paper two and at the end of the row there in brackets is the mark allocation for each question. So even question one that's worth four marks was split up into A and B, both worth two marks. Uh, and you can see there it's the questions 11, 12, 13, 14. They were the harder questions that had the higher mark allocation, but plenty of marks up to grabs as you worked your way through up to question 10. And if you did get stuck doing those harder questions, the proof by contradiction question at the end was only worth three marks so not as well received paper two as paper one people were happy with paper one um, they found paper two much more difficult so in terms of the grade boundaries I think it's probably um, balanced it out and everything to work towards now for paper three so let's have a look at the topics that you should be focusing on for this week just to mention, I have put together some um, other videos that are on the channel to help you prepare for paper three. So there's a video uploaded to help with the stats section and I'm halfway through doing one on the mechanics section. I'll try if I can to put some more on as well. So do check out the channel and watch those videos and I hope they help with your revision this week. So topics to look out for for the statistics, it's worth having a look at all your definitions and all the different types of sampling. Look at the large data set, um, analyzing and representing data. So make sure you can do linear interpolation and you know how to calculate the mean and standard deviation. Probability questions, make sure you look at all the rules and the conditional probability. Correlation, binomial or normal, have a look at questions on those and make sure you can do hypothesis testing on all of them. In the mechanics section, um, vectors, projectiles. Uh, in the mock set series, there were quite a few questions on variable acceleration. This seems to be always a question on moments and um, the ladder type questions, so where you've got moments on a slope. Forces in equilibrium and resultant forces using F equals MA, and then practice on your SUVAT, so whether you're calculating from the graph or using all those SUVAT equations. Thank you so much for watching. Do check out the channel and have a look at my other videos, which are going to help for paper three next week. Best of luck in that exam. And I hope in the summer you get the grades that you need and good luck for all that's going to come after the exams. OK, thanks very much. See you on the next one.